Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lane, a certified life coach and addiction recovery coach that teaches manifestation so that you can manifest the life of your dreams. If you need any help with any one-on-one -on -one services, all of that is in the drop box below at solutionscoaching.org, along with different products like custom subliminals, custom 15 affirmations, and a custom mind movie that is all on the shop at the website. So go check that out. Today I have an important topic. Um, that I think is gonna be really helpful for you and a learning lesson that I was reminded of this week um, around this topic. So let's just dive into what, what this is. Have you ever experienced having the opposite of your manifestation unfold or something seemingly negative unfold even though you have put a lot of effort, I'm gonna say it again, even though you have put a lot of effort into manifesting your desire. You put a lot of effort into making sure you are affirming the correct affirmations, putting a lot of effort to try to make your visualizations perfect, crystal clear, where you can hear everything, touch everything, see everything, and you're just adding all of this effort into it. Now, why do I keep saying effort? What's the big deal about effort? We gotta put a little bit of effort in, right? Because we're trying to have control of our conscious mind to then impress it in the subconscious. Oh, you'd be wrong there. You'd be a little bit wrong there. See, there is this thing called the law of reversed effort. So, because manifestation is an effortless process, and what we mean by effortless is the subconscious has programming that automatically mirrors into your 3D reality, it reflects it into your 3D reality, so then that's what you experience. It's effortless. You don't have to try to do it. You're manifesting regardless if you're conscious or unconscious, right? So what the bad habit sometimes that we can get into is thinking we have to have will or willpower and force in our conscious mind, logically, right? We have to have willpower and force logically to impress our subconscious mind with this new story. And those are not what you need to manifest. Yes, repetition is key, but we want to have the repetition as natural as possible. And I'm gonna explain at the end of this video how we can do it naturally and mistakes that I have personally made recently where I was reminded of the law of reversed effort. Um, so I wanna explain this to you so then you can not make the same mistakes or stop making the same mistakes. So when the law of reverse effort happens, it's because we are using willpower and force to try to impress our subconscious mind pretty much from the standpoint of I don't have this, but I need to believe that I have this so then it can manifest because I see in the 3D that things are opposite or not what I want them to be. So I'm panicked and I need to change this and I need to change it fast. That's the mindset, the state of consciousness that we're usually in when we try to do things with force and willpower. So I'm gonna give the example um, of what happened this week of where I experienced this and why I experienced it. I completely understand why I experienced it and um, the natural way that I should have, well, actually that I did go about it afterwards and how I got things to change. So. In one of my last videos, I explained my success story of manifesting the success of my healthy fish that was pretty much on his deathbed. And one of the things that I had done to manifest it was affirming and falling asleep to those affirmations, which was the most natural part of it. It's just assuming that he was good. I stopped checking his tank just like I normally would. And I started acting and thinking and feeling like the person who already had the healthy fish and had nothing to worry about. Now, prior to doing that and really stepping into it, one thing that I was doing was visualizing. And in this visualization, I was in the hair salon with one of my, my hairdresser, who is a friend of mine, where we talk about fish stuff. And I was actually messaging her the night before asking like, hey, I got this situation going on. Like, you know, what do I do? So she knew about the situation. So in my visualization, I was in the hair salon walking up to the booth so then she could cut my hair, which shit, it's really needed. Um, but <laughs> um, in the, the imagination, I'm walking up to the booth. She asked me, how's your fish, Lane? And I responded back, oh, there's no signs of sickness. I didn't lose a single fish. They're all good. 
and I was forcing myself to loop this, forcing myself to try to get into sats to do this, forcing myself to try to hear her voice clearly, forcing myself to repeat the same affirmations or conversation in the scene, forcing myself to try to make it as vividly real as possible. And yes, I thought it was okay. Even though it wasn't natural, I was doing it out of panic. I was doing it out of, shit, I need this to happen. Let me visualize because I know visualization works. Okay. It wasn't from a place of, all right, I'm going to do this. And I know regardless, he's going to be okay. And I, I, why I keep saying I forced it is because I did. I forced it. Each time that I did it, I forced myself to try to add in a new tone of reality. I forced myself to say the same thing, which is not natural for me. I'm more of a daydreamer and just go with the flow. And I don't set myself a schedule to do, you know, a manifestation routine. So this was uncomfortable for me. I felt resistance doing it. But I thought that the resistance was from the fact that, um, you know, my fish was dying. And I didn't believe that, you know, fully believe that he was going to be okay. So again, I'm human, I make mistakes, and that's why I want to share it with you so then you guys don't do the same thing. So what ended up happening this past week is I lost two fish. One of them were in the same tank as him, showed no signs of sickness, no nothing, just one day, fed him breakfast, by the afternoon, he was dead and floating at the top. Then prior to that, in the beginning of the week, I lost one of my clownfish, which is really sad because my stepsister, who is no longer with us, uh, helped me pick them out and name them. So kind of sad about that. But um, yeah, and again, there was no sickness in this tank at all. So to lose a fish that I've had over two years that's been completely healthy was just mind boggling. But then I reflected back as to what I did. And it was that visualization where I was forcing it, forcing myself to say all of the fish are healthy because I was panicked that if it's a disease, it can be uh, really contagious to other fish and spread um, if you use the same equipment, which I did prior. So that's why I was getting really nervous, right? So I put in all this force and this effort, I ended up losing two other fish, but did not lose my big fish because I had affirmed he is healthy. I didn't affirm for any of the other fish, okay? Because I dropped that narrative that anything was going to happen. Now, the reason why I manifested where I lost these two fish is the law of reversed effort. Because I was putting force into that visualization saying I didn't lose a single fish, guess what? That was the opposite result because it wasn't natural for me to say that. Again, if I had all healthy fish, I wouldn't even be talking about it. You know, I'd be listening to her stories about her fish stories and whatever. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that story of how the law of reversed effort sometimes can backfire because you're trying to put in willpower and force into your techniques, into your day-to-day -day life, forcing yourself to try to believe this. To manifest, you do not have to believe, okay? And this is where I'm going to go into what would actually be the best way to manifest. For one, consciously, you do not have to believe that what you are manifesting is going to manifest. You just have to believe that manifestation works, and that is your self-concept. We got to be able to believe that, you know, have the assumptions that manifestation works. It always, I always get what I want. Um, I always manifest things within 24 hours or instantly, however you want to word it. And that my life is always working for me. You know, just basic uh, core affirmations around uh, how the law works for you and your assumptions around it. So when you have those kind of assumptions, then everything usually works out for you. But when you try to force things, then it goes against the grain. So to be able to manifest properly and where the law isn't going to be reversed against you with effort, um, have those core beliefs installed into your subconscious. Just affirm them when you think about the law. If you start doubting the law, anything like that, you just affirm Oh, well, the law is always working for me. Oh, well, I always manifest instantly, so I don't need to worry about time. You know, just when the thought comes up, correct it. Then next, when you are doing a visualization or any technique, it does not have to be perfect. It just has to feel good to you. What do I mean by feel good? It's not actually um, an emotional feeling. Sometimes you can feel that, but it's not coming from a place of I got to do this 
because this thing is what's manifesting. This thing is what's going to change my 3D. That's not the mindset to have because that is the willpower, that is the logic in your conscious brain that is saying that this is how the law works and it's not. So say if you are visualizing, the picture does not have to be crystal clear. The voices do not have to be crystal clear. The tones of reality that you add in do not have to be every little tidbit of them. You just have to get lost in it. Okay, you have to forget that you're sitting on the couch or laying in your bed trying to do this thing to make a change happen. You just have to get lost in your imagination and let it unfold. Now, if it's natural for you to loop it, then loop it. If it's not natural for you to loop it, then don't loop it. It's not natural for me to. So I don't know, I don't know why I looped it. I don't know why I put the force into it. Again, just panic. That's what I did. Again, I'm human. It happens, right? So do what's natural to you. No matter what, the law is always working. So say if that's what you were doing in the visualization or say if you're scripting and, you have, and you've heard that you have to write it a certain way, you have to do a five by five and repeat the same affirmation that you're writing. No, you don't. You can do it in scripting a whole new story to where you and your person are together and an entire day together and what that would look like. You could write it out to where I'm happy and grateful that da 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 and just go off like the things that you're currently manifesting, the things that you currently have that you're grateful for. Like you can literally just write whatever comes to mind as long as it's from the end of you having your desire, going to have your desire, already have your desire, or just, you know, overall, whatever is going to make you feel good to allow you to enter into the state of having. So, um, and the same with affirmations. We don't want to, if robotic affirming doesn't work for you, don't force yourself. Don't burn yourself out. If, you know, doing the self-talk and like just going on a rampage and kind of all over the place, like, yeah, my person loves me. They're constantly thinking about me and it just feels good to know that they want me and they're choosing me. If that's what works for you, then do that. Or when you think of your desire, then do that, okay? Figure out what works best for you, what's ever going to make you feel like it is a natural thinking process in your brain, and then that's how it gets impressed. That naturalness gets impressed along with the affirmation. Does that make sense? When we aren't feeling natural about it, then it's not going to be a natural thing in the 3D for it to unfold. It's going to be forced and a lot of times go backwards <laughs> so um let me see if there was anything else um oh and then with lastly with um you know manifesting properly is don't look for the change which is another thing i was doing yes i was you know doing the visualization but before i started affirming and actually embodying it i was looking for the change every single day and i realized shit i gotta Step back, Lane. Step back. Come on. We're a manifester here. Um, I had to take a step back and realize, hey, if I was normally, uh, you know, had healthy tanks and the fish were all healthy, I wouldn't be looking at their tank and watching them and, you know, looking at every detail of them to see if they're eating, see if they're sick, see if there's spots on them, see if they're laying at the bottom of the tank. Like, literally, I was constantly watching them, watching the temperature, watching the water parameters, and, like, obsessing over it to make sure I didn't lose this fish. And I was doing it with every tank because I didn't know if it was, you know, being spread. So... That was another reason. Again, I was looking at the 3D, seeing if there was a change, even though I was doing the visualizations. And once I realized I had to take a step back and start just affirming my end, living it as my truth, how would I think, feel, and act if I was now this person, then the manifestation actually came in and I got my end result. But then the past manifested. My past thoughts of... I wins if I lose the fish, wins if I lose the whole tank, I did the visualization, the visualization didn't work, and you know, all of the doubts that I was thinking prior to actually, actually manifesting it by like actually embodying it, thinking, feeling, and acting as the person, having the correct assumptions around it, when I was in that panicked lack state, worried about it, doubting myself, my power, the law, then it, this shit played out oh, what a few days later maybe a week later so yes there was a time lag but it still happened 
So I hope that this video was helpful. So I just wanted to clue you guys in. I make mistakes too. And you know what? I'm strong enough to sit here and admit it. I don't care if I'm a coach or not. How are you going to learn if I don't admit my flaws? Because I'm not fucking perfect, all right? But I did correct it. So I don't want you to think, oh, you know, I fucked this all up. I'm doing the same things Lane had talked about. And, you know, the opposite's happening. The law of reversed effort is happening. Uh, I'm never going to get my manifestation. No, there is a silver lining. Once you actually embody it and step into the state of consciousness where it is already your existence, your desire is already manifested, you are thinking, feeling, and acting as if the person who has this desire, then it manifests. Because like I said in the last video, within like three days. And now he's showing no signs, absolutely none. And this is a week later. So it can manifest really fast. When you get your head out of your ass, just like I had to do and realize, hey, I'm forcing this. This isn't feeling natural. I'm trying to do all these things. I'm watching all these videos and this is not what I would be doing, thinking or feeling or acting like if I actually had my manifestation. So take that step back, recognize what you're doing, call yourself out, pull the head out of the ass and you know stand tall in your decision that you're going to manifest this this is the life for you this is what you're going to have you deserve to have it and just be it think it act it and feel it and that's all you have to do to manifest all right so i hope that this video was helpful thank you for being here and if you enjoyed this video please comment down below subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so then you can learn more ways of how to manifest even if you're making mistakes we can correct it together so you can check out the solutionscoaching.org website if you want any uh services but yeah thank you guys for being here and as always you got this